And what's up, mortgage coach? Uh, today I am what's sitting up? here talking to uh, Sean Cahan. What's up, Sean? Hey, not too much. How are you doing today? Doing good, man. It was uh, Thanks good for having me on. Yeah, no, I'm glad to have you. It was good um, getting to know you better in San Diego. Was that last week or the week before? That was last week. Yeah, you were at the I think digital conference or um, uh, down innovative. at the uh, yeah innovative conference. Yeah, last week. So yeah, we'll see you well, there. it was it was good to meet you. I uh, can't believe I had never met the mortgage geek. So uh, pumped <laughs> to meet you, and uh, and I, I was excited to meet you, but I I didn't realize you were also just a complete baller with mortgage coach. You do you do a lot of TCAs. I was really impressed. Yeah, I mean, man, I I love uh, mortgage coach. I've been I integrated it into my business like on a daily routine. I would say like probably like two years ago, and or about a year and a half ago. And and since then, it's just made a it's made me stand out actually and rise above the noise of just like sending emails or sending, you know, a, a generic loan estimate or. Um, you know, like an itemization. It just, the presentation is just incredible. So, and it just the the speed of it is incredible. So that's why I implemented it. Um, it's all about, you know, getting the speed and also having you the presentation more than just an itemization of payment or fees, but it's like a side by side and what the amortization is going to be. So it's very uh, comprehensive. I feel. Yeah. Well, I, I was again. I've heard of you. I just didn't realize you know, all the things you were doing. I didn't realize how many leads you were generating. I didn't realize how much business you're doing. So if you could just tell everyone, you know, a little bit about your model, a little bit about yourself, and we'll go from lead generation to lead conversion. So tell us a little bit. Yeah, no, perfect. Um, I appreciate that. And, and um, so loan officer and also owner of Cornerstone Mortgage. Um, I own the branches um, across the nation for Cornerstone, but like this year, last year I did like 106 million. The year before I did 134 million, and then this year I'm tracking right on target for my goal of 140 million. Um, this year of self-production, and then um, and then also managing operating the cornerstone. 73 loan officers right now. Just got two commitments for um, uh, 21 more loan officers actually at the beginning of this week. So I'm I'm super pumped for them to come on board, and uh, we're just continuing to grow. So. Um, and then the mortgage, and then the mortgage geek. So I started doing mortgage geek like two and a half years ago, and started doing the videos about pushing out more content, of education content. But I, again, I just wanted to kind of stand outside of the uh, outside of the noise and doing videos in a little bit different way. So I started creating the mortgage geek with my team. So and then we just launched. We're launching a coaching program. So that's why everything that I do on a daily basis always has to be what is the best way to present it, but it has to be extremely streamlined because I'm doing coaching, originating, and also running, operating, and I even service mortgages too, so. Wow. There's a lot. Yeah, so it sounds like we could be doing a lot of phone, a lot of interviews. So let's, let's focus on, call it mortgage gate, because we, you know, we hear, we don't hear, we know local mortgage professionals need to build personal brands they need to get to the consumer first. So let's talk about how, how are you generating, how, first of all, how many leads are you generating per month? And then let's talk about how you're putting those through a funnel. Yeah, no, the funnel, um, I mean, I would say that I'm generating now because I started really focusing on generating leads and going to the consumer. So I started out at about 5,000. Now I'm inching my way up, um, hopefully starting next month. Um, well, we're going to be right around like 10,000 leads actually a month. Um, and that's wow. kind of like our target. So all through, uh, Facebook, Instagram. And so what I'm doing what was pretty cool on Monday. I reached out to all the loan officers at Cornerstone. And I was like, Hey guys, I know that I'm going through a bunch of my test stages and doing AI work. Um, and also text features. So like double opt-in with IP address, allowing me to like text actually the client then having that. So there's a lot of like tech that goes behind it. But in the meantime, I didn't want those leads to go away. So it was pretty funny. I sent out 1500 leads just in one day to all the loan officers and everyone was actually like really stoked. And we have about a three to 5% conversion just based on like 
dialing because I wasn't even ready yet with my dialer. So um, my, that dialer comes next week. And uh, so people are literally just all the loan officers right now just hand dialing the leads. And um, yeah, three to five percent conversion um, already. So they're like super excited about it. Love, love that. Well, I know we were introduced by Michael Penny at Agentology. Uh, and yeah. him, and I, him and I actually had dinner one night. Uh, I, I think that is a hot strategy. Why don't you real quick talk about how you're leveraging Agentology and then let's get into, okay, lead comes in. What do you do to get them through conversion? And how are you using Mortgage Coach in that, that lead conversion process? No, perfect. Yeah. Um, everything kind of all leads. You have to use the technology, but you also have to have real people there. So um, the reason I got involved with Agentology is I tried to do a call center over in India um, called Echo, Avatar Echo, which is a coding way of making the person on the phone like a bot sound like a normal human by um, by scripting. So we did all that scripting and it just wasn't working because the the personal touch was still not there. So what I do is we have a lead that comes in off of Facebook or off an Instagram on a long form funnel. Um, and then what happens is as soon as they want to move forward with a purchase or refinance, then it gets shoved over to, and it's all done through uh, Zap or Zapier. And then it gets sent over to uh, Agentology, Agentology in real time. So they're a call center that's local, um, San Diego based and they're downtown. I mean, their, their office is incredible. Um, and then they pick up in immediate time, send a text out to the client. Thank you very much for being interested. Um, and then they do all the cultivating of the actual lead. Um, and then once they have a lead that says yes, then it gets actually zapped into my CRM. That CRM then starts the online application with them. Um, automatic generated emails go out to the client like I'm communicating with them regarding like documentation follow-up, what they need. And all in the meanwhile, really no one has talked to the client yet. So I love um, it. And, except Agentology. Yeah, and guys, here's what's cool about Agentology. Is they've gotten great tech. Like they are integrating with your technology so the consumer doesn't know the difference. It integrates with your CRM. Uh, they, they are great guys. I interviewed the CEO, God, it must've been a year ago. He was introduced to me by Craig Sewing. Um, I'm going to put a link down below to my interview with the C uh, CEO of Agentology. They are a company that I think the mortgage industry should pay attention to. They're big in oh, real absolutely. estate. So, so like in the real estate industry, a lot of the big teams that do a lot of consumer direct marketing use Agentology. They've got a big brand in the real estate space. Um, but they're just getting after it in the mortgage space. So, so check them out, guys. And Mortgage Coach Community, if there is anyone in our community using Agentology, let me know down below. If you guys reach out and you start using them, let's, let's hear about it. Because to me, it sounds like a great platform to help local referral-based mortgage professionals go faster, go bigger. Anything you want to add to that before we get into the TCA and how it integrates? Yeah, no, definitely. So agentology is actually a really good one to follow up with um, because it's not about just having more people on your staff. You want to you wanna start to attach yourself with other companies that specialize in lead follow-up or ISA and then move on. So that's why instead of us having our own call center, it was much more efficient and I wanted them to specialize on the calling. So that's why we actually partnered up with Agentology, Cornerstone, and myself were on the pilot program of Agentology getting into the mortgage space as well. So they're a complete rock star in the real estate space, and then now they're just going to be killing it on the mortgage space, and I'm just super pumped to be part of, uh, you know, partnered with them. I, I agree that they're going to make a big, huge splash in the mortgage, uh, on the mortgage side as well, because more and more mortgage companies, more and more um, leads are actually being generated from the loan officer being cultivated with the real estate agent, not just depending on the real estate agent to send over the deals over to mortgage. So it's more of like everyone is scratching each other's back, really trying to cultivate the leads together. So Yeah, no, no, no doubt. And for anybody that has, I, I would say where you start thinking about an agentology is when you get north of 100 leads a month, um, even if they would do it for you, I would say, guys, you need to figure out that yourself. 
Um, you know, when you start to get hundreds of leads a month, that's when you really need to start looking at outsourcing this because at the end of the day, the best marketer and salesperson wins. And, and so you'll always have a seat at the bus if you're a good marketer. You need to do that as a mortgage professional, but you don't need to be a contact center. You know, you need to be a great advisor, like family, my advice makes a difference. But, but, you know, speed the lead 24-7, um, I think that is something that you can outsource so that you, you've got a, a team to get speed to lead, to get the meeting scheduled, and then mortgage planner, mortgage coach steps in and rocks it out. So, so Sean, let's talk about that. So the lead comes in, agentology gets a meeting scheduled, contact center, Correct. speed to lead. When, when, what, what do you do? What's your process? And when do you bring mortgage coach into play? So a refinance, a mortgage coach comes into play a lot sooner than on a purchase, obviously. Um, so on a refinance, it comes in. So as soon as the lead comes over and we, you know, a partial long form application is created, um, we want to then obtain the borrower's information, such as their address. We ask for a mortgage statement, but just off their address, their name, and what their current interest rate is. We'll then pull the title to see exactly when they, you know, when their first payment was, what the original loan amount was, and then we'll create a TCA, so a side by side, because more and more consumers really, really want to see the reamortization, really want to see if a refinance is worthwhile, and so we try to integrate that and bring that out immediately because numbers, you can be the best salesman on the planet, but when you start to like use the TCA as hey, check out the numbers and let's talk about it. it. It's such an easier and such a different type of sale than it is just trying to convince someone to refinance. It's like, here's the black and white numbers. Here's how much you're going to be saving. So when we streamline that into our business, we try to get to the TCA as soon as possible because we use that as our sales tool. Not, so let's, hey, do they so, like me or, you know. Right, no, it's, it's, a, it's, you know, story selling. And this is your story. Let's walk you through it. So let's pull up a refi TCA. Um, you sent me a refi and a purchase. And then I want to hear your, yeah, your yeah. script. Like before the family clicks on it, you email it to them. How do you describe it so that the family's pumped? Do you call it a total cost analysis? What do you call it? I call it a TCA. Yeah, total cost. And then I put in parentheses total cost analysis so that they know exactly what we're working with. Can you see this? I can, although this looks like the purchase strategy. Yeah, so um, I gotta, let me get to my refinance one. Here it comes right now. Okay. So as uh, you can see that first, that first level right there is the current. It's showing me what the payments are, what their current interest rate is, 85 with MI, 85 no MI, 80%. Um, what I, tr what we will do is, you know, there's, when I met with you, um, Dave, as you know, I never used the walkthrough feature, like the microphone feature of Mortgage Coach. But after meeting with you, we're going to start implementing it because, again, it's all about streamlining. So I think that instead of I create the actual format, I send it over, they review it, then we get onto a phone call. And then I walk through the actual differences. I think that they can get that same information just if I took the extra five minutes or seven minutes to go through the actual form. So that is something that I'm already going over with my team to start to implement. Um, and that, again, it's always about how fast can we transmit the doc or the information over to the consumer with the accurate information, but saving as much time as we can so that we can go on to the next client. So. Um, but this one right here, so we'll send this over, ask them to pull it up and then get onto a phone call with them um, to explain, because there's so much information. Sometimes if you send over total cost analysis to a consumer, sometimes they get actually a little confused with how much information is there and what they're looking at. Um, and so that's why it's very important to be on the phone with them or to use that actual microphone uh, feature to go over it together. So yeah, or, um, I'll or, send it over. Or, or or the video. Anyways, keep going. You can add a video to it. So walk, walk through yeah, it. And, and you, now you did four options or you did three options, current and three options. Is this pretty common or do sometimes you do one option, sometimes two? 
you know, how many options and how do you make decisions on how many options? Unless it's like the cleanest and the client only wants one option, I mean, minimum, I am always going to do two options just because even if the client only wants a 30 year fix and say it's like 60% loan to value on a refinance, you still want to show them the benefits of a 15 year because the reamortization of a loan is what's a killer. And so we stress on that a lot about not always reamortizing your loan. Don't always reamortize your loan. So, um, so I will like 90% of the time, I'll always have two options. Um, I, Technically, unless we're doing a purchase, I don't do much more than like three options on refinances. So it's pretty funny. Most of my TCAs are always two or three options um, just because I think if you give them two or many options, then again, we're going back to the consumer of, oh my gosh, here's everything in the book. Let me know which one that you want to go off of. So being the mortgage professional, we want to pick like the best two or the best three and say, this is the direction that you want to go. And here's the pro and the con to each one. Yeah, no, no doubt. And another thing I see um, users do, you didn't do it on this one, you might do it on others, but you know, you're saving this family like over $600. And, and what if, you know, you were saying, Hey, let's get this loan and then prepay that $600 every month to get your mortgage. Now, how much faster could you pay it off and how much interest would you save like that? No other loan officer is going to do that. Or, or, you know, if they're, um, they have a financial planner and they're savvy, hey, what if you took that money and you invested it with your financial planner? You know, how, how fast would you build up that mortgage offset account so that you could actually pay off your house faster? Um, so I don't, I don't know if you do those strategies at all, but um, it's one thing that I recommend when it comes to doing a refi total cost analysis. Yeah, no, that's actually huge. So maybe that will be like, um, if I'm only doing two, maybe I'll do another like one and two where what I'm doing is explaining how to reinvest that savings back in there so that we can see like the monthly savings. And then also, hey, keep your actual spending the exact same, but reinvesting. Um, maybe they get really excited about that. Um, and so that's, I mean, that's a great, great way to show the two best options now, the two different ways, one is you're saving the month on, you know, the monthly payment. And the other one is keeping your monthly payment because obviously most of the time you're, you're refinancing um, to save interest. You're not only just saving because you're having financial difficulties. So, um, you know, by reinvesting that, then your home will be paid off in like 20 years or 18 years, which is incredible. So um, I really appreciate you bringing that up today. And uh, you know, if I'm only doing two options, I'll show four options, two of the programs, and then two of just the reinvesting the show. So, cool. cool. So, guys, this will not be the last time I interview Sean. So, if you are getting value, obviously like it, love it. If you have a question for Sean, put it down below. So, Sean, anything else you want to show on this one before we do the purchase strategy? Um, no, I think that's a more info feature, actually. Um, you know, these, you use that a lot? the closing costs, I, I use the payment breakdown a lot. Yeah, I use these. Um, and I try to get the consumer to see like where they're, you know, the savings over the 12 months, the seven years, the really kind of diving in and really honing in on how much saving you're going to have, not just the payment savings, but also the five year and also the 10 year. And sometimes I do 15 years. So it really starts to compound and show a lot of interest. So um, I try to go over it pretty comprehensive so that they're totally understanding because I think a lot of people refinance sometimes at the wrong time. Um, and so this form, not only does it help with the sale of the refinance, but newer loan officers, it can also teach them when a refinance is not going to be beneficial to the consumer so that you're not going into escrow, you're not wasting your time. And then all of a sudden, you know, they get an epiphany. Oh my gosh, this isn't that great. I looked at these numbers so that you're not losing deals. You see, so it's not just about how many deals are you going to be getting, but you can quickly come to the table and say, it's actually not beneficial for you to refinance, you know, even if we're dropping your interest rate because of these reasons. And so um, that also helps tremendously. Love it. Love it. Well, let's do this because I like to keep these as close to 20 minutes as possible. 
So let's, let's go through that purchase strategy and then let's wrap up. And remember guys, questions down below. Uh, I mean, Sean is killing it, generating just a crazy number of leads, uh, leading loan officers, coaching loan officers. And so I know there's a lot we can learn, but walk us through when you use the mortgage coach and any scripting or any nuances you have and how you use it with, and it sounds like most of your leads are um, consumer direct. So how do you do it? Well, we're just getting more and more into the consumer direct. So yes, on a purchase, we want to send over the different options so that they can see. So I think it's always extremely important to check out a 30 year fix um, on an agency loan and then also like one point or, or a fix. So, um, there's always a lot of savings, uh, you know, from the media being pushed out and saying that no points are good, no points are good, no points are good. You should always take our interest rate that has no points. You know, I, I actually disagree with that. Um, and so most of my clients actually go with an interest rate of points because I can show them how much money that they're going to be saving, even if by paying into the points because it's prepaid interest. So um, I use a TCA on every single purchase. Um, I just got into the lead generation. So most 99% of my business since the last like 14 years has actually been with all my referral partners. It's been a hundred percent referral base. I've just gotten into the, um, uh, consumer direct world. And so I still use mortgage coach on every single purchase because it's a very nice platform, but I also get to go over why I feel that, you know, pain points or, or maybe a 15 or 25 year loan is better than a 30 year so that we can really educate our consumer. So, yeah. Well, you're, well, you're, again, your brand is the mortgage geek. So it's like, if you haven't taught themselves diff something different or got them to look at things in a more detailed way, you're really not living up to your brand. It makes sense. Definitely. I think it's all about giving the knowledge to the consumer so that they can never come back and say, oh, I didn't know about that. Right. So that's like one of like right. the worst things that can ever happen. So in my coaching platform, um, I'm going to start actually requiring after our meeting that everyone on my coaching platform that gets um, that's on the mortgage Geek coaching program, which launches in three weeks, totally launches in three weeks. Um, we're using mortgage coach. So I'm teaching everyone to use it. So. So, yeah. so let's do this. I think let's, it's stop share, let's stop sharing the screen. Um, I want to wrap up on two things. So one, uh, I have a, a, a closing question that I want to ask. But before I do that, um, what, what is the um, best way for people to get in touch with you if they want to learn more about your coaching platform? You know, how can they get in touch with you and learn more? Yeah, definitely. Um, so, I mean, there's so many different ways you can find me on Facebook, but then also you just go to mortgagegeek.com, www.mortgagegeek.com, all my contact information, my videos, my coaching platform. Um, a teaser is actually going out next week about how to use the coaching platform. And um, so if you guys want more information, you actually just sign up there to get information based upon the coaching platform, what it entails. It's going to be teaching about lead gen going to be talking about, you know, what I do with my real estate partners, how I create lists, accountability, social media, um, and marketing. So it's like very comprehensive. I got six of the best coaches that also helped me. And so we're all kind of giving that back to the loan officers and saying, here's what a loan officer actually has to do. It's not just calling 40 real estate agents. It's this whole piece using technology today. So we're pretty excited about it. So, mortgagegeek.com. Mortgagegeek.com. Also, check out Agentology. Uh, I'm a big fan. They're super good people. They do have a very sweet office in downtown San Diego, and they have killer technology that so you can really outsource that contact center of what you do. So, Sean, last question. Um, you know, there's a lot of new loan officers coming into the business. So, I mean, I, I personally feel like it's a flood of new next gen loan officers. And then I think, you know, anybody that's not consistently closing over five loans a month, they're like struggling. So I'm yeah. gonna treat struggling loan officers just like I treat a new loan officer. Like, like it is such a great market, you know, with mortgage coach, CRM technology, social media, like it's just like a mortgage revolution out there. There's no reason for us not to kill it. What advice do you give let's say the new loan officer getting into the business or 
you know, yourself when you, you know, first two years in the business, what advice would you have given yourself knowing what you know today? I would say with the new loan officers, start using technology um, to help aid in becoming an expert. So like if I had mortgage coach when I was brand new, that would excel my or accelerated my knowledge because now I can actually start to understand a lot more about, you know, what goes into a mortgage reamortization, the savings, the points, no points, the in difference of the interest rates, the APR. So I think that every, and I'm not just saying this because we're on here. I'm, this is true fact. I think that every single loan officer should be using a, technology piece like mortgage coach or mortgage coach definitely because I use it as an introduction as a walkthrough with a with a client on every single transaction so not I'm really not just saying that like, this is the truth I would be using this because there's so much information in there so that you can be known as the expert it's all about knowing the information and then also having good customer service but just because you're really good at selling doesn't matter as much anymore because there's so much technology out there to make sure what you're saying is actually true. And that's, what's great about numbers. It's black and white. I love that. Well, I'm not, I mean, I, I think that's a great idea. So I love your advice. You've been, a, you've, been a, you've been an awesome interview, man. Looking forward to um, doing more with you, your branch, your coaching clients, your company and mortgage coach community. If you have more questions for the mortgage geek out of San Diego, Put them down below. And, uh, dude, great first interview. Looking forward to the next one. Thanks, man. Yeah, definitely. Have a good one. It was good seeing you last week, and let's uh, keep in touch. Sounds good.